to my money vault. Any celebrity who walks in here is agreeing to a no-holds-barred interrogation of their finances. Today's guest is Mark Berry, also known as Bez from The Happy Mondays. Dancer, prancer and serial bromancer, Bez is a rock and roll icon who exudes excess. Reality champion and man of the people, after selling millions of albums and dancing his way around the world, how much money did he actually make? And has he managed to keep hold of it? Time for Bez to enter the money vault. Now, what fascinates me, you're in the Happy Mondays, incredibly successful group, and you were effectively, you were there to, to dance, but you weren't singing, you weren't part of the, the no. music. So did you get royalties? Well, I do, actually, yeah. And, um, and uh, yeah, I get royalties. And it's, I've only just recently admitted to being a dancer. <laughs> so I'm like, what do you do? I, well, I, I dance, you know what I mean? But I can actually say it now, so... The Happy Mondays started to get successful. I mean, it must have been quite a shock, cos you... I, I suspect you weren't in it for the money in the start, you were in it uh, more, more no, for the fun. Well, uh, yeah, well, we was in it for the fun, of course, and we thought, like any young band do, we all thought it was the best thing since sliced bread, you know what I mean? And, uh, but you were lucky, cos many other people thought the same. Yeah, well, that's... If you haven't got that uh, self-belief, then you shouldn't really be in the game, really, you know what I mean? Do you remember your first big pay packet at that time? Uh, well, I do, actually. The first big one we did, I remember we signed a deal with uh, London Records at the time. We got given four grand straight away. Uh, and we were obviously rushed out and spent it all in one go. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you? Uh, I was about 22, 23. I mean, it's quite interesting. If you forgive me saying so, you're also quite, quite known for being um, one of the part of drug culture of that age. As well as being expensive in their own right, you, you lose your financial constraints and your inhibitions. Did you find that a problem? Uh, no, because I don't actually worry about uh, finance because, obviously, being the person I am, I always find a way of making a bit of Yankee dollar when I need to. Well, this is interesting because y you you won Big Brother, didn't you? Yeah, well, d I did actually win. I am champion, but, uh, yeah... Uh, I did win Big Brother, yeah, but it actually did me no good financially. Well, it did, cos I managed to pay off her tax bill, what he had. Right. That's which, what I... That's, yeah, I'd yeah. heard that. So, you won Big Brother, it was 50 grand, wasn't it, and that... Straight to the tax man. He took every penny of it, cos... Now, the way I think about earning money is when you're self-employed or freelance, as you are, every £100 comes in, depending on what tax rate you are, either £30 or £50 goes in a bank account somewhere, that's for the tax man, that's not my money, I won't touch it. Do you obey those type of constraints? Well, um, the thing is, I've been made bankrupt twice in my life, but I have actually never been bankrupt because I've always had the ability to pay the tax bill. What my problem is, is doing paperwork and such like, you know what I mean? I just don't do it. Don't I could actually pay somebody you to could. do it. I could, but I don't, because Why? when you get a bunch of figures, you can make them do whatever you want. I understand. I mean, it's very difficult. I'm talking to a sort of scion of a, of a cultural age of the 80s of doing what you want and free spirit and individuality, but actually, the tax man still needs paying and you need to find a way to organise that. Is there no way you could change your mind on that? Well, there is. I could um, start keeping proper accounts. With the business that I've set up, that, that has been taken care of. I've got Merchant accounts set it up because we're going online. I was going to say, yeah, please yeah. tell me you're not doing it yourself. No, no, I'm not doing that. So I've got uh, somebody who's a lot more capable than me to take care of that side of the business, I hope. Have you got a question for me, Baz? Yeah. Uh, well, the main question I've got really is, uh, you see America who's got, like, three shilling pounds worth of debt, you've got Britain in a similar amount of billion pounds worth of debt, we've got Europe in a quagmire of its own, you know what I mean, with the euro and all that. And what I want to know really is who is lending all the money to us, you know what I mean, and why are we paying it back, why bother, you know what I mean? First of all, you're right, money is a big lie. Yeah. I actually agree with you, but it's a good big lie for the way that we live. The key to money is that what we have is we all get these pieces of paper and this is a means of exchange. And if I don't have this piece of paper, I'm going to have to trade with you everything and yeah, I'm yeah. going to say, I'll give you my ten cabbages for your, for your bottle of beer and you yeah, go, yeah. I don't want ten cabbages, so I have to go and find Johnny over there to take ten cabbages yeah, and he'll but... give me 15 carrots that you do want. And money is a shortcut route yeah. to doing that. Yeah. In terms of the debt, it's all in the system. It sloshes around the system. People owe it to each other. I asked the same question to um, a very eminent economist, because I'm not an economist. Yeah, yeah. And this was in the middle of the financial crash, when we were re about four or five years ago, when America was talking about voting on this $750 billion bailout. The question I asked him, 
what happens if they don't vote for this and the system goes kaput? And he says, well, the only option then is we press a button and we restart capitalism. And what happens when you do that is you wipe all the debts, yeah. they're all gone, but you also have to wipe everyone's savings at the same time. Well, not a bad idea. But well, no, not, but, a bad, but, not a bad idea for those people who don't own a yeah, home, yeah. but for those who've spent their whole lives putting money in the bank and for those who have more, who have their own property sitting at home, yeah, yeah. they don't want to see their well, mortgages go. Well, that's because they've the been problem. sold into slavery by the capitalist system, which is unfortunate. But there is another system what we could all adopt, and there are other systems what we could all live by besides capitalism. You're right, and but it uh, would take a structural change in, the, in, yeah, yeah. in the systemic nature of government far more than just of finance for that to happen. I've got uh, some no, quick fire questions for you now. Uh, if you had a choice, a burger at the Savoy or a burger at Burger King? Bloody hell, well, um, it's got to be, uh, as long as it's not horse awesome, meat they're serving at the Savoy, I'll have the, <laughs> I'll have the, uh, the Savoys, I think. <laughs> What's the most extravagant purchase you've ever made? Uh, this year is uh, brand new teeth. Really? Yeah, yeah. Smile. Well, I've got all false ones in at the moment because okay. uh, I'm just about to have a, 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 a what's it called, titanium implants oh, yeah. and all that. Oh, yeah, they're so. pretty costly. Um, what's an ISA, Bess? An ISA is... Uh, I actually have had ISAs, you know what I mean, but I don't think they're a very good idea. And, as you know, the financial system at the moment does, it's not paying any interest anymore. Well, I'd argue with you. If you're going to put... If you've got money in savings, you may as well put it in an ISA because it's the same as savings, you just don't pay tax on it. Yeah. But you knew what one was, I mean, that's good. What's the best freebie you have ever been given? The nice one I got recently was a Swiss Army knife. That was a nice little nice. freebie, yeah, yeah. I like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, well, they come it's in really handy, thing, don't isn't they? It? Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. But unfortunately for me, Martin, is uh, because of my attitude to life and that I am not, like, uh, a fan commercial products, you know what I mean? Like, I've not got people banging on my doors to do, like, Iceland adverts or anything like that. I'd love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the question I ask everybody, how much did you earn last year? Oh, God, I don't know. I've give, not actually looked. Give me a clear. We're talking above or more or less than 100 grand? Well, I think I might have earned more than that. 200? I don't think quite that much. So, so. between 100 and 200,000 yeah. last year, you would think. Uh, lovely. Thank you very much for answering right, the Martin. question. Now, final thing, I need your wallet, mate. Oh, there's not a lot in it. Let's have a look. There's like loads of chain tickets. Fascinating. Celebrities don't seem to carry much in their wallet. I've got me, uh, me cash bills thing. I am actually, uh, I've got a premiership account holder, but because I don't borrow money and I don't think, I don't I never use it. Yeah, you're not paying for it though, are you? No, I'm a, I'm a premiership no, account. No, but some people you can pay to get the premiership. They oh, give no, it to you got, for free. they're giving it me for free, Fine. but I don't use any of the. So you're with Nationwide Building Society, you're with a bank, Barclays, and yeah. um, you don't have any credit cards? No, I don't do credit. I only pay cash. If I can't afford it for cash, I don't have it. You see, I would normally I'd say to someone in your position, get yourself a cashback credit card. The very simple. Then when you pay it off in full, they give you cashback. They give you cash back on top. But you know what? For a man, if I'm genuinely honest, having met you, for a man who doesn't fill in his tax forms and, and doesn't get anybody to do that, I think we just everything needs to just be as simple as possible That's in your financial like life. It. You know what? Yeah. You look quite happy on it. <laughs> yeah, very nice to meet nice you, sir. Nice talking to you, Martin. Thanks a lot.